Welcome, folks, to the Luke 418 Radio Talk Show, the leading cutting edge of Christian radio. Today, we're going to talk about, is there high worship in your life? This might be even new to you, but we must understand high worship brings deep repentance. High worship brings forgiveness of sin and freedom from strongholds. High worship is being filled with the Holy Spirit and empowered for ministry. We find that in God's word in Jeremiah 29, 13, you will seek me and find me. You will seek me with all your heart. High worship starts bringing in the bringing you into the realm of holiness and righteousness and bringing worship to the king which is Jesus the Christ praise the lord o my soul all my innermost being praise his holy name psalms 103:1 love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul with all your strength, Deuteronomy 6, 5. The Lord says, worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Psalms 102. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Psalms 104. Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks, and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is sacred to the Lord. Do not grieve, for the Lord, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8.10 Folks, worship is to be part of our life. We're to worship Him with honor with thanksgiving because he's the one who holds your breath he has the power to take it away instantly the day when we accepted christ as our personal savior our whole entire being belongs to him we have so much thanksgiving and praise to give him for what he has done opening a portal, opening a a way to have a relationship with his Father, to have eternal life through Jesus Christ, who loves us and his Father loves us so much. We must come to him and come near him so he can come near to us, James 4, 8. For without faith, it is impossible to please him because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who earnestly seek him, Hebrews 11.6. Folks, let's make this day a day of high praise. Put your schedule away. Put back, push back the problems in your life today. Push back the pressures by setting time aside. Turn on the high praise music and start Preparing your heart to worship. Just recently, we had a wonderful high praise worship at our church. And I'm going to share that recording with you. It's going to bring the presence of God in. Matter of fact, that high worship was so powerful. The anointing was so great that God's prophetic word was spoken. And I want you to listen to that. Because if you are a believer in Christ Jesus and have followed through through immersion of water, baptism, this word was spoken to you. And it's powerful. And today we're going to hear this high worship. It's going to touch your life. It's going to transform it. Listen. From coast to coast and worldwide on the internet via satellite, this is Luke 418 Radio Network. You tuned into Luke 418 Radio Talk Show, the leading cutting edge of Christian radio. Exposing the works of darkness and declaring a life of righteousness. You guys rock! You guys rock. Just rock. Rock and 
Welcome to Luke 418 Church Women's Conference. This will be a wonderful time of breakthrough for women to come and get spiritually fed. Do you sometimes feel that you just can't control your thoughts? Do you feel hounded by bad memories of the past that still feel alive today? Are you hurting on the inside? If so, Luke 418 Church Women's Conference can help free you from the pursuit of that mental and spiritual anguish. Free yourself from the past and free yourself from the hurt you feel inside. If you are experiencing repeated feelings of anger, hatred, lack of self-control, anxiety, or confusion, come to Luke 418 Church Women's Conference who can restore you and set you on a road to recovery. The lineup of speakers along with Pastor Bill French who's hosting this event are Reverend Colette Boudouin of International Restoration Ministries, Sherry Wakeman of Luke 418 Church Radio Talk Show host, Reverend Marie Burbe, who is a professional counselor, and I will be there, Reverend Valerie French, and my sister, Minister Barbara Lee, we are the Righteous Twins. Come for your healing breakthrough and become spiritually fed. The conference will be held on September 8th, a Saturday, 2018, from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And the location will be 444 Indian Wells Lane in Indian Wells, California. And that will be at the Renaissance Indian Wells Resort and Spa. Please come, bring your friends. This will be a wonderful time of restoration and healing for every woman who needs help. Amen. Those that are viewing online, worldwide viewers, God bless you. I'm so thankful that you joined us today. I pray that this message was an encouragement, was an instruction and teaching for you so you can live free in the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. So go out this week and apply the scriptures. Start speaking to the devil. Get out of my life. I'm divorcing you. I don't want you anymore. I'm done playing this game because I always lose. And you exercise the power of God and the authority and tell him to leave your home. Leave your family. Leave your house. Leave your body. Okay, you tell him that. You have the right to say that. You have a right to loose the angels of God to come into your house and then camp around you. Amen? Because God says this, if you truly are a born-again Christian who has believes in Jesus Christ and has followed through through submersion baptism, then the Bible says you're saved. But you must continue that relationship with him in order to be saved. Amen? We don't want to fall back into the old ways because then we're falling away from Christ. And there is a line. There's a limit. You could cross the line and not be returned. And so we want to encourage you to grow close to Jesus. Draw close to Jesus so he will draw close to you. That's your position. That's your responsibility. Amen? And let's grow. Let's Encourage one another. Let's share our testimonies, how we're growing, how we're trusting God, and how he's delivering us, how he's giving us wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And the only way for you to do that is to be proactive, is constantly talking with him. You might wake up in the morning, go to the restroom, talk to God then. Talk to Jesus. You go back to sleep, get it back up, continue talking with him. Get in your word. Get in your word. Read your word. Read a chapter, maybe three or four, 
You can get on, download an app, put it on your smartphone, the Holy Bible, and it'll read it for you. You go through five chapters within 15 minutes or so. And then ponder on the verses, what God has enlightened you, so you can start applying it to your life. You'll start drawing close to Jesus, knowing what he likes and what he doesn't like. Amen? That's a relationship. That's what God is looking for. He's not looking for that you said a prayer and you were baptized. He's looking, do you desire to live with him? Do you desire to walk with him and talk with him and have a relationship? Amen? That's what keeps you in the kingdom of God. Amen? You've got to have that relationship. Without Christ, you can't do anything. Only through Christ you can do everything. And that means submitting yourself, being humble before the Lord. And as you do that, He will exalt you. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so let's go ahead and, and praise the Lord. Okay, continue on. Continue on. Go ahead. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. And as we're praising the Lord, this is a time where we give our tithes and our offerings to God. You see, Satan always wants to throw in deception and lies to stop you from receiving the blessings and getting healed and getting delivered, cause blocking spirits, anything that would block you to violate God's spiritual law. And it is written that God says that we're to give unto him. If we don't, it's simple. We receive the spirit that is a devourer, that dev devours everything. You have nothing. But when we give, we give to God. And we trust him. Giving back what he's given to us. Amen? And so let's give with a cheerful heart. What is due to God? And through that, he says that he will give you favor, favor with men. He'll bring protection in your life and bring multiplication. And so we need to trust God. We need to abide by his spiritual laws. And that's where you find your happiness. That's where you're going to find your fulfillment is being obedient. And that's what Jesus is looking at. It's not your word of your mouth, not boasting about what you've done for him. Are you obedient when he's asking you to do? And he might ask you, do you love me? Yes, I love you, Jesus. No, no, no. Do you love me? Yes, Jesus, I love you. No. Son, daughter, do you love me? Yes, Jesus, I love you. Then obey my commands. You see, the way to love him is to obey his commands. And when we do, that's what he's looking for. That's real love. It's just like a wife and a husband. When the husband says, I love you, and she says, I love you. And they have this trust between each other that they will talk with each other, they'll walk with each other. They won't do harm to each other. They won't go out on them. That's what Jesus is looking for you. If you love me, then obey my commands. Can I trust you? Or are you going to go out on me? See, he looks at your heart, not what you say. He looks at your heart. Do you love me? Yes, Lord, I love you. Then purpose in your heart to obey his commands. Purpose in your heart to start cleaning yourself up, casting down the stinking thinking. 
utilizing his power, binding and loosening. I bind the demon. I loose the angels. I loose myself from this bondage. I loose myself from this nightmare. I loose myself from the tax. Amen? That's what he wants to teach us. We're not helpless little lambs heading for a slaughter. We're warriors of God. You can pull out your sword. You can loose the angels. You can command them. Yeah. They're there to assist you. So today, start freeing yourself from the bondage that Satan has come to steal, kill, and destroy in your life. Stand up to him start claiming victory because victory is ours the power of god is ours the authority of christ is ours amen give god a shout so those that are online god bless you for viewing if you'd like to be an online member you can go to luke418church.org again that's luke418church.org and click on where it says live TV, underneath it says online membership. Be a part of our church, online member. And as you give your tithes and offerings to this church, just thank God for what he has done in your life. Amen. We just thank God for this broadcast reaching all around the world, Australia, the UK, Africa, Canada, Russia, we just thank God for what he's doing through this little small church to touch every continent of this world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. To helping the hurting of our brothers and sisters and helping the lost. We thank you, Father, for what you have done here. We thank you for your son, Jesus, that works through us. We give him worship. We give him praise. We give him honor. We give him glory. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done for us. We love you. Jesus Christ, that cross 
blessing of that river right now that's overflowing, that's kept you from crossing ab abroad to get where Jesus is. I command those rivers, those trials, the torment to be parted now. And I loose you now to go forth, to cross that river and be in fellowship, right standing with Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command that heaviness that has come upon your shoulders, come upon your mind, be broken now. Chains be broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command your soul and your heart be lifted up to the one we worship. Jesus, we worship you. We give you glory, honor, and thanksgiving. We worship you, Jesus our Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command those waters to be parted.
repeat after me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I repent from my sins Father God forgive me 
I choose this day to forgive myself and every part inside me. I receive your forgiveness, Father God. Jesus, cleanse me now. Wash my whole soul and body with your blood. My spirit, man, I give you. I choose this day to follow you all the days of my life. I purpose in my heart to draw close to you that you will draw close to me. I purpose to watch my lips and shut my mouth and tongue. But to blurt out, to yell out the glory of God, the things of God, and His righteousness. From this day forward, I ask the Holy Spirit to fill me. Take control of my mind, my will, my emotions, my intellect, my body. I surrender all to you. Deliver me. Lift the curse off of me. Lift the curse off me. Lift the curse off of me now. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you for delivering me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we all said amen.
It's your anointing that breaks every yoke of bondage in our life. Give God a shout and a praise. We command every yoke of bondage be broken now. In the mighty name, loose you now from that bondage. Receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We break that yoke on your body through the anointing of Jesus. of Jesus Christ, that yoke that has hindered you, that has blocked you from walking in the ways of Jesus. I break it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be broken. Every medium that Satan has connected himself to you, be removed now. Be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command all mind spirits, mind control, mind torment, be broken of your mind now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To remove those chains, snap through the anointing of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for breaking all the yoke on us, for removing the sickness and disease. By your stripes we're healed. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to worship you this way, Father. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We humble ourselves before you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Wow. Praise the Lord. We could go all night, couldn't we? <laughs> but I think the, the magician, magician, musicians here, their fingers are getting tired, you know? <laughs> amen, amen. Well, thank you for viewers all around the world watching today. May the worship, his anointing, bless you. And I thank you for coming back to the heart of God. He loves you. He's been very concerned about you. Now you're back home. We're at the Luke 418 Church of Hemet, California. Come on down. Be a part of us. Those that are uh, different parts of the international, um, worldwide, you can join us and be a part of the church, an online member. Go to Luke418Church.org. Click on right where live TV is, and then click on the join the online membership, okay? God bless you. Love you. Be sure to give your tithes and offering to the Lord Jesus Christ. Stay plugged in with the church. Stay plugged in on the Luke 418 radio program on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. We do have a 24-hour radio station. You can go to Luke 418. 18radio.com and click on the player. You'll have music, you have good teachings there. And don't forget, there is a women's conference coming up. Now, Pastor Valerie and Ramona, would you come on up here and share about what's about to take place? Praise God. Well, we're going to have a women's conference September 8th and 9th of 2018. It's coming up very soon. We're very excited about it. We have a lot of wonderful speakers that are going to be there. It's going to be at the Renaissance Indian Wells Resort and Spa in Indian Wells, California. That's 44400 Indian Wells Place in Indian Wells, California. So that's going to be a wonderful time. We're looking for a lot of excitement and, and a fun time to be together and a, and a, a word from the Lord. Uh, the Lord has spoke to the pastor specifically for women to be ministered to at that time and, and their little ones. This is a very important time for you to get deep, deep inner healing and ministry. Praise God. So amongst all the women out there, it would be lovely for you to come. It would it's very much needed. We all need healing from our past, the present, and uh, it's going to be a blessing and an encouragement for you to come out. So try your best to, to make it to the Women's Conference. Praise God. And you heard it. So September the 8th at 10 a.m. at the Resonance Renaissance. 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 Indian Wells Spa Resort and Spa. Be sure to come out. And uh, women only, God is going to heal you and touch your heart. He will show up there, believe me. He touched my heart this year and he says, we need to put this on for women only. A lot of you women have just kind of carried on, carried on, carried on, but the little girl inside you needs healing. No one really knows about that little girl inside because you kind of like covered that up. And you just kind of moved on through your life and, and just trying to worship God and get close to Him, but there's still areas in your life and that things that happen to that little girl inside that needs to be healed. And this is the place where you're going to receive that healing. God wants to clean you up this year, the year of Jubilee. 2019 is coming. God's going to need you then. Cleaned up so you can get out there and minister. Amen? You're going to get fed delivered and healed amen. amen thank you jesus for what you're about to do god bless you we love you be sure to um, if you want more information just contact the luke418church.org send us a an email if you need any more information but there is a there is a link that you can register uh, for the event and um hmm what we'll do, we'll, we'll put it up on the website. Yeah, we'll put it up on the website and the chat room tomorrow, okay? 
So God bless you. Tune in tomorrow at 11 a.m. for online uh, church only. Okay? So we'll see you then. God bless you. Welcome to Luke 418 Church Women's Conference. This will be a wonderful time of breakthrough for women to come and get spiritually fed. Do you sometimes feel that you just can't control your thoughts? Do you feel hounded by bad memories of the past that still feel alive today? Are you hurting on the inside? If so, Luke 418 Church Women's Conference can help free you from the pursuit of that mental and spiritual anguish. Free yourself from the past and free yourself from the hurt you feel inside. If you are experiencing repeated feelings of anger, hatred, lack of self-control, anxiety, or confusion, come to Luke 418 Church Women's Conference who can restore you and set you on a road to recovery. The lineup of speakers along with Pastor Bill French who's hosting this event are Reverend Colette Boudouin of International Restoration Ministries, Sherry Wakeman of Luke 418 Church Radio, Talk show host, Reverend Marie Burbe, who is a professional counselor, and I will be there, Reverend Valerie French, and my sister, Minister Barbara Lee, we are the Righteous Twins. Come for your healing breakthrough and become spiritually fed. The conference will be held on September 8th, a Saturday, 2018, from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Pacific Standard Time, and the location will be 444 Indian Wells Lane in Indian Wells, California, and that will be at the Renaissance Indian Wells Resort and Spa. Please come, bring your friends. This will be a wonderful time of restoration and healing for every woman who needs help. Amen. Luke 418 Radio has been commissioned in these last days to preach Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is the only name written under heaven by which men might be saved. Our mission is to teach and train up the body of Christ in the Great Commission to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, to cast out evil spirits, pray over the sick that they may be healed. For the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind. If this program is a blessing to you and you would like to take part in this end time harvest of souls, join us by donating online. Go to www.luke418radio.com. God bless you.